Oh, hi there. I didn't see you. Welcome to another exciting episode of You've Already Beat Gaming Podcast, featuring your host, me, the Lobster Desk. Hey, also featuring our other host, Lokar the Man Beast. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. I have been bopping to 80s fucking jammers ever since that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and today, sweet dreams are made of these. <laughs> Who am I to disagree? Man, I've just been Dude, fucking jamming. Just have you said some oh, keyboards? Oh, man. I, <laughs> it's taking me back. <laughs> Oh man! What did, what did Kyle always used to say? Eighties babies, nineties baby. Eighties <laughs> baby, yeah. <laughs> oh, what up? What up? Yeah. Happy Monday! Happy Monday! Bright and early on a Monday. Good to see you all. Yeah, yeah. I'm hope you. Hopefully, you made it through the. Uh, oh, this is this is a holiday Monday. Some of you probably aren't even oh. awake yet. Happy Memorial Day. What are we memorializing? All of those that fought. Is that what the? Yeah, it's the big one, right? Yeah, this is this is this the big like one. a happy holiday. That's Veterans right. Day it's, is for like the ones that are yeah. still alive. Memorials, are the happy Memorial Day. It can be a happy day. It's, ha it's I mean, happy. If you give, it's a, it's a somber day. Yeah, if you give Americans a reason to drink, it's a happy day. <laughs> 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 fuck man some That's, of like the memorial days videos yeah that, some like, of them you, are thick. that you see you're like oh man yeah like this dude like oh, i saw one it it fucking it got me and it was like right before a patient the patient come in and i was like literally like <laughs> like crying fucking it was like this guy he's all going to see my friends and like he goes and like he like picks uh, up like a bunch of like tall cans yeah. and stuff like that he, and goes, he drives to the base yeah and he goes, oh my right. fucking god dude hey guys i'm here and he puts all the beers down at the crosses it's like oh, oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start fucking crying <laughs> just thinking about it <laughs> oh man yeah that was that was rough or the one where the guy goes out to um He's like, oh man, I miss my brother. I haven't seen him forever. And he goes out to like the gravestone or whatever. And it's like the snow. And he like pushes all the snow off. And he's uh, like, man, I miss you, brother. And he's just sitting on the ground crying, like, oh man, it's so sad you're not here. Yeah. Ooh. Let's hard transition before I start crying. I think we should make you cry. I'm so easy to cry now. I know. <laughs> Dude, I you ugly cry too. Yeah. You ugly cry. Yeah. You know why? Because I just let my feelings out. <laughs> I, I don't hold back anymore. Bottle that shit up. Bottle that shit up until I snap. Kill someone. <laughs> no. What's that? So, what's that movie with uh <laughs> Michael Douglas or whatever? Where he's like, is it Michael Douglas? God, where he's like in the convenience or the, he goes to get a burger and he's like, I just want breakfast. And they're like, sorry, sir, we stopped serving breakfast at like 10 a.m. But he pulls out the Uzi. And he's like, I'm at a really bad day. <laughs> Is that Michael Douglas? No, God, no. Fuck. All right. I got to look this up while we talk about. Oh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So. Yeah. Stuff. Falling down. That's the name of that movie. Falling down. Have you ever seen that movie? He's like business dude. He's in like a tie. He's got yeah, like a briefcase. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was that one, yeah. but I don't remember that like specific scene. I always just think of that. Like you got to pay rent, homie. Like what? <laughs> yeah. He's up on the, the rock the, or whatever. God. With like the cliche, like eighties, nineties, fucking like the switch switchblade. Blade. <laughs> it's like, oh, big tough guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Falling down. That was just in the, um, where you have to pick, it's like, what was it? It's 1992, you're a blockbuster, you get to pick one game and one. That's what it was, yeah. yeah that's what it was. You're that's, just talking about that. That's right. That's yeah, right. it is Michael Douglas. That's like peak Michael Douglas. Yeah. That's Fuck early. Wall Street Michael Douglas. That's, nah. Wall Street is good, though. It is a there's good movie. There's the game. There's the game. And there's Falling Down. And that's Michael Douglas for me. Fatal Attractions? I don't anything else. Eh. Really? Glenn, Glenn Close ruins that for me. 
I don't fucking need her in anything. Basic Instincts? That wasn't Michael Douglas, was it? Yeah, he was in that movie. I don't know. If, was he? Was he the main character? No, he wasn't the main character, but he's definitely in No, he wasn't the main character. Yeah. Basic Instincts, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, we're not talking about... Spo- Ooh. Oh. Okay, hit me. The Jewel of the Blue Nile? Yeah, Basic Instincts Michael is... Douglas? Basic Instincts is, is this one. That's Sharon Stone. Yeah. he Was, was he in yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. He was the main character, Yeah, he was the main character. He was one of the other big guys, yeah. Oh, come on. Hold on. Is it Jewel of the Blue Nile? I don't know if I've ever seen that movie. Jewel of the Blue Nile? God damn, I'm going to go crazy. Jewel it's of like, the Nile? Is that Michael Douglas? It is Michael Douglas. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Kathleen Turner, like, Danny DeVito? No. No no, Glenn Close? No Glenn Close. Like, I'm, still, I'm still thinking of Fatal Attraction then. That's like, uh, like, you know when like, what was it? Olympus has fallen and like like when two movies come out and they're exactly the same. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, except Indiana Jones just fucking won so much harder. <laughs> and it, and like and to be fair, like there was already two other Indiana Jones. They're just like, hey, Michael Douglas, let's pitch you a movie. He's all okay. I, I don't it's think it's still I've, not a bad movie though. I, I think I've probably I don't think I've ever seen this movie. It's, I'm lo- it's pretty decent. I'm looking at it. It looks like the uh the cover of it looks like uh Adventures in Babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to Michael Douglas. To Michael Douglas. Do you hear the uh, Super Size guy died? Yeah. I was talking to Ray about it this morning. Oh, yeah? He's all, dude, I can't believe the fucking Super Size Me guy died. I was like, well, I mean, McDonald's is fucking cancer, dude. And he's all, yeah, and he died of cancer. I was like, oh, I was like, well, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I guess I guess that's the the lesson. Thirty days of straight McDonald's will give you cancer twenty years later. Yeah, yeah, but also um, that wasn't like his only documentary. He did like other stuff where he was like force feeding himself and shit like that. Well, he didn't really have much of a claim to fame after that one documentary, and then I think it was like in two thousand. He, he kept trying though. Two thousand. He put out Super Size Me, and then he had like three or four other ones yeah. and, and then just, it, it, they didn't take off 20 God, was it like 2015 or 2016 i might have the dates wrong on this but he had oh no it was probably 2017 when the me too movement came out he <laughs> he came out and was like yeah i had some sexual allegations that were against me back in college like way way long ago where there was like a, a rape charge and i guess he had settled it with the the person they like you know however it all worked out or whatever and then so he just fell off and that's why like we never saw so did he come forward with he it came or forward what, ahead did it of come time. did it come out he i think he got so he, ahead he, of it he was like look he's all listen everybody i know i'm pretty hot shit still some stuff happened and everybody's like who the fuck are you? Are you yeah. Super size me? Yeah. You not remember? <laughs> anyway, like he's just like you, no such thing as bad publicity. You just get his <laughs> yeah. name out there yeah. one more time. It, it was his. It was his agent. Like, hey, you know what you should do right now? <laughs> you haven't been relevant in years. Let's try something. <laughs> Can we just say that I got raped? No, Terry Crews already claimed that. <laughs> Terry Crews? Yeah, Terry Crews. Yeah, Terry he's Cruz. claiming that somebody yeah. took advantage of him. <laughs> I mean, I could see, I could see that happening. You know what I mean? I like, what? Taking Terry advantage. Cruz? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like someone who's big and like, like portrays a lot of like imposing. Yeah, he's got. A, he was a fucking NFL player. I know. I think the I think the only way is like, there's there's a part of me that thinks like some guys like. Some fucking, let me touch your dick. I'll make a star out of you. And he's like, okay, this is what I got to do. And he's like, man, I got to get ahead of this before somebody says they saw me <laughs> willingly touching that guy's dick. Terry fucking Cruz, six foot fucking three, like 280 pounds of nothing but fucking tits that fucking well, jump around. What is, what? what's it right now? I mean, everything that's coming out in the media is basically anybody who's ever been famous in Hollywood is been sucking dick so they're all can you believe kevin spacey i was like yeah, kevin yeah. Spacey? and then he immediately came out was like well, Travolta got me a i've little always bit. been a little bisexual 
So, yeah, we did, can tell by the fucking haircut, yeah. buddy. Um, <laughs> did you hear when Hugh Jackman? You had like, it before L.A. Confidential. You had it after L.A. Confidential. Nobody's fucking buying that. When Hugh Jackman and his wife split up, I guess there was a bunch of allegations coming out that he was gay or whatever, and his like boyfriend had moved in with him, and like his wife came out and was like, I, I don't know what this is all about. Like we may be separated, but he's not gay. And then, but he's like, oh, okay, I guess. And then it was like. That went over really fast. Like <laughs> that was just that was way too convincing to be like he's Wolverine. That's why it was so easy. Yeah. You take away Wolverine and you leave him with the greatest showman where he's in a top hat jumping around with a fucking tail with a coat covered in sequins. Yeah. That one <laughs> that one stand for a while. But Wolverine? No, not before Deadpool 3. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Oh man. He was in he was in some movie. I can't remember what it was, but he ended up being like a very small part in a movie. And uh he was like an actor. And th- th- something had happened where a bunch of people had come in. It was him and another actress on stage, and they were doing some like it was like a theater actor thing or whatever. And like the guy that had busted into the thing, he was like, You gotta leave, you gotta get out of here. And he's like, dude, I'll I'll you know, don't you're not gonna keep me. He's like, No, I got you. And like he like dropped down, he's like, ah, like this and like guys like what are you doing <laughs> he's like it's just it's his wolverine thing he's like yeah it's my it's my wolverine thing <laughs> oh, what a good jackman's a treat yeah yeah for men and women apparently <laughs> hey. hey he's he's yesteryears fucking henry cavill I don't know, man. I feel like he's he's one of those like fountain of youth guys that just like kind of have only gotten better as time has gone on. It's it's getting them. I mean, it's, it's so getting he's them. Classically trained Broadway and musician before mm-hmm. he got into like fucking like movie acting because he, he's like I was always taught you will be a triple threat. I don't know what that's a bad Australian. <laughs> but he was like I, I was told you have to be a triple threat to make it. So I learned how to sing. Uh-huh. I learned theater and then. I came into that when you see him when like he was younger, it's weird. Yeah, because I think I feel like we've only known him as like older Hugh Jackman. You yeah, know? I guess so. There's also like I I watched um the original X Men movie, like the very first X Men movie. Yeah, the movie's so good. But like looking at him as Wolverine, Even better X Two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe <laughs> for some, <laughs> that was rough. That was a rough one to get through. Yeah, and then it's just after the original X Men. Oh yeah. Like, Fucking what? And yeah. then like X2 comes out, and even even for the time with like it's cutting edge CGI, yeah. you're like, oh man. Man, there's the train's already over. <laughs> yeah. There's a there's a line that uh Ian McKellar says in the first X-Men movie. It's fucking amazing. Um, so they're they're in the the Statue of Liberty or whatever, and he's yeah. got everybody pinned up, and uh the guy who plays Cyclops is like, he's like, Storm, hit him, like with the lightning bolt or whatever. He's like, yes, uh, a large electrical conductor inside of a like a copper tomb or whatever. He's like, I thought you lived in a school. <laughs> 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 so funny. Oh, <laughs> but just seeing the first X Men movie and then seeing like Hugh Jackman for because I've been watching all the trailers and stuff for the new Deadpool movie, and I'm like, dude, man, he just he's just exploded in like just size and shape and like def- def- you know definition. What else has? Mm. HGH. It's, oh, it's so much safer. Supplements have came so much safer. So much faster. <laughs> yeah. So much safer. It's it's now there's not clinically proven stuff. If people are injecting themselves with diabetic medication to lose weight, I'm, who cares if you're putting HGH in your body, right? Yeah. Fucking send it. Yeah, man. Why not? I would. I'd go back to shooting. No. God, we, can you oh. imagine if we were rich? Like fucking Joe Rogan rich, just fucking you got a backache you just go get some fucking stem cells and some hgh oh feel, boy feel perfect by fucking tuesday if i if i had money i'm i'm scared if i had money i'd look like the goddamn kingpin i was i just i'd just be huge because i'd never do i just I always uber eats <laughs> fucking nobu sushi feed me flown in by helicopter <laughs> Nothing else in your life has changed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just able to not work and eat. Yeah, exactly. The, the good thing about like being poor is that you kind of still have to move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, HelloFresh is a down. Like if HelloFresh was unhealthy, that's a that's a scary place to be. Like at least the portions are like build this your own big. McDonald's. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> 
go out yeah, like we could supersize it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. I know a lot of people hate on it. I love McDonald's. It's so bad. It, I don't care. What? The fries. Okay. Are the only thing that I have no guilt about eating. Oh, dude, they've been. And they're at, probably the, the. They're probably the worst for you. The fries are probably the absolute worst thing on their menu. Mm, no, I didn't. You, you're, all of it. You're not going to stop. Burgers, all of their sandwiches, all of their everything. I swear. And oh, this is how I know it's got drugs in it because I don't fucking want it. But my girl loves McDonald's. So like if we're like driving down to like sack or something, there's always a McDonald's okay. on the way. OK, so we'll so we'll get some food. And I'm like, ah. I look at the menu and there's a part like there's like in me. It's like, God, that looks so fucking good, doesn't it? And I'm like, shut up. And it's like, no, doesn't that look so fucking good? When's last time you had a Big Mac? Oh, fucking bi- the Big Mac, the iconic Big Mac. I got a voice like giving me a fucking like a sales pitch in my head. I'm like, oh, I'll get a quarter pounder. Something like that. And like the first bite, I just want to like just spit okay. it out the window. Like, God, gross. So like, there's why? there's been but I begrudgingly eat it and I feel like shit. A half hour down the okay, road. Okay, so there's there's been a few things I've realized. Like I used to get the double quarter pounder because I love I used to love the double quarter pounder. It's just so greasy now. It is like it's hard to eat because of how greasy it is. Big Mac, mm. on the other hand, Big Mac on the uh, other hand, I can still It's got an extra piece of bread to soak up some grease. It has nothing I like, I pull the extra piece of bread out. Like it's just something about like all the extra like Accoutrement of the Big Mac. It's just it's something about it. Dude, Don't it just, use French words for McDonald's. <laughs> it hits. It hits on a different it's level. Accoutrement to the Royal with cheese. Um, you can't stop me from eating nuggets. Like I yeah, will. That's, that's her thing. I will power through chicken nuggets. I, I will. Fuck, okay, I will, first off, nothing beats Chick Fil A's nuggets, but I will say they're far superior. And flavor, texture, everything. If you put a bunch of nuggets in front of me, I will fuck them up. I don't know what it is about them. I think it's also drugs inside them. Oh, I I would absolutely agree to that. There's also the point where it's like, I'm not getting McDonald's for the healthy aspect of it. I I could eat a salad or I could have a Big Mac. I'm like, oh, it's not even convenience. It's just, Mm. I don't know. That's a weird one. Maybe convenience. I watched this fucking documentary 20. 20 years ago, but I got like halfway through it and I just I said, fuck. No, no, no. I watched the whole thing multiple times. It never once scared me away. It was like taking dare when we were in middle school, bro. I was like, so what do you, what do these drugs do? This sounds no. amazing. No, not at all. No, that was like taking dare when you were in kindergarten. <laughs> that fucking movie hit me. Dude, I, was like, oh. I remember I remember the dare program. Burger King's so much safer. <laughs> that was 2001 that movie came out. Yeah. Came out like right before 9-11. Oh. Big Mac, oh, uh, conspiracy. We're we're tying it together. Um, uh, but no, it was like when we were in school and Dare came out. I remember they gave us, a uh, gave us a, like a pamphlet book. It was like a full like thick book, and it went through all the different drugs, wh- how to recognize each of the drugs, how each of the drugs were used, and the effects of each of the drugs. To the point where it was an encyclopedia on how to take the drugs. I think today I'm going to try cocaine. That was the when we I, can snort it. <laughs> yeah, when when I when I first experienced drugs as I was growing up, I was never caught off guard by a drug because I knew what it was. But only I don't because think I of ever dare. went through a dare program. Really? Oh man, I don't think so. With Scruff McGruff. Was that Scruff McGruff? Wasn't that Scruff McGruff? No, I remember Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, six zero six five two. I remember that. That was like on during the like cartoons. I feel like that was like a fucking like a take a bite order. out of crime. Oh, maybe it wasn't Scruff. Yeah, I know they had like a dog or something for a while for the Dare program, or it was associated with it in some way. But yeah, our whole Dare program was like to for it was it. You know, we're talking early nineties, so it was a time when it was like. You know, trying to teach kids how to recognize what drugs were because that was back when everybody was like, people are just going to hand you drugs everywhere you go. It's like, as you got older, it's like, I had to ask. No one handed me shit. <laughs> so, and the DARE program rolls out to like third eye blind. 
<laughs> hey, we're so out of touch. We don't understand. This song's about meth. Let's talk about staying away from drugs. It was it was a wild program too. I remember like at the very end of it, like you know, people being like, and remember, say no to drugs. And like I was just like as I was growing up, I was like, these all sound really fun. Like, why what's the negative side of this? Jail time. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just like the the black dude and Dewey Cox in the bathroom doing drugs. It's exactly right. I think I want to try this shit. Yeah. Well, I can't, I can't have no hangover. <laughs> Does it give you a hangover? It sounds expensive. It's the cheapest shit there is. Oh, man. It's <laughs> just... It is a uh, it's a wild wild time, and now it's just like now I can kind of understand what my dad used to say back in the day. He he used to say like you can't trust drugs. You know when I did drugs, that's what his old. When I did drugs, you knew exactly what you were getting. Yeah, a brown bag of shake, bro. Like, but he wasn't talking about that. He wasn't. <laughs> and no, not at all. Not at all. And then you see all these people dying from like fentanyl. Not a overdose. single parent is like, man, you're gonna get some shady weed. <laughs> 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 I didn't know that he didn't specify but my dad also did the thing where he was like don't do drugs they're, they're the worst thing ever but when I did drugs oh man I went to go see Pink Floyd they had a, <laughs> they had a, fl a fog cloud out we were out in the top balcony taking acid blots and like we could walk out on the cloud out to the band <laughs> I'm like that sounds amazing what are you talking about don't do drugs yep. also by the way kids don't do drugs yeah don't do it we already did enough for all of you. I've done too much. I actually, I've never done drugs for the FBI agents watching. I've never done drugs. I've never touched any of that. For the for my round for the next set of politician elections, I've never done drugs. I have <laughs> caffeine. Yes. I'm scared. I'm scared to think about the guy who eats McDonald's and dies at 53 of cancer. And I'm just thinking about my body. I'm like, bro, I got like maybe six, seven hours left. Yeah. I just try not to think about it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've toned down a lot of stuff in my older years. <laughs> I start getting like weird, like twinges where you're like, uh, oh, what the fuck? And then you just. Spread through it. Oh yeah, man, okay. I get the weird twinges. And if I'm you're like, not, I get the weird twinges. You can do I get the weird anyways. twinges, and I'm like, oh, God, it's time. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> and then I've got gas. <laughs> I was like, Ah, Just, <laughs> <laughs> I had too much cheese. <laughs> Feel like a tightness in your chest. Just like, I'm gonna spend some fucking money before I <laughs> yeah, go. Exactly. Max all these bitches out. <laughs> I'm gonna pay your way through gone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Those are the worst, dude. When I like, I'm like, like, because I still have such bad like stomach issues, you know. And like, I'll wake up and I'm like, oh, something's just something's not right. And then like, as the morning progresses, I'm like, oh god, something is not right. And then it hits me. I know what's going on. And then it's just a, and it's like, oh, I feel so much better. Man, I had a fuck. I was eating salads at work mm -hmm. because like the cafeteria food's kind of sketchy, mm -hmm. but they have like a salad bar and it's decent and like, like their lettuce kind of sucks. You know, you know, when it's just like, just like chopped up iceberg and you're like, man, fuck. So I'm, I was putting like garbanzo beans and shit in there for like protein. Mm -hmm. And I know this is like a meme of like the only fans girl, but like out of nowhere, I started feeling pressure and then in my chest. And then I felt like my heart, like <laughs> I was like, Oh shit. And I literally like, Got the patient out, and I called the ER. I was like, oh, can I, can I talk to, I forget what fucking doctor it was, by like one of the cool doctors. And I was like, so I just had like a, the tightness in my chest, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, do you need me to come out there? I was like, I can, I can come up. I just need to know what I should be concerned. And he's like, how about you just come up here? We talk, dude. And I was like, oh, ooh, ooh, like, like, like pain uh -huh. in my chest. And I was like, holy shit, I'm too young to be having a heart attack. I got up there and I was, I started talking to him and he's like, okay, uh, did, you, did you eat anything today? I was like, the only thing I had, I had salad, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I put some beans on it and he's like, you think maybe you just have gas? I was like, <laughs> no, dude. Like, I haven't, I haven't farted or anything, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, and then I just felt everything shift <laughs> down. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> would you be mad at me if I said I had to fart all of a sudden? <laughs> and he's like, so sometimes if you're not used to like stuff in your diet that can cause, gas build up 
<laughs> it can almost feel like a heart attack. So I don't exactly blame you, but maybe just ease your way into that kind of diet. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so fucking stupid. I'm so glad like he pulled me away from the rest of the yeah. ER. Yeah. I was just doing it right in the bullpen with all the nurses. <laughs> Hey, I think about fucking farty big fart face. <laughs> I think about our heart attack. <laughs> Never mind, guys. Slow the alarm. I'm good. Back to the trailer. So fucking dumb. Those fucking MRI guys are weird. <laughs> oh, they already think we're fucking weird. It's gonna sit in a trailer all day with magnets. Yeah. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> yeah. Can't see the fucking sun. Oh man. Christ Almighty. Mm. It's been a busy week, man. Busy week. I have a lot yeah. of got a lot of shit accomplished. We uh we're moving up on getting things ready for turn time. We've captured a bunch of properties. It is gonna be an absolute nightmare. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I feel good though. I feel a little bit I've I've finally put the the stop on okay, we're not trying to capture anymore. Like we've got a a chunk for this year that's gonna feel good so i'm done i just told my boss i was like i'm not i'm not doing it anymore if you want more you can capture it but i don't i yeah. think we're at capacity and it's on you yeah it was like we are at capacity if we try to go anymore we're gonna we are gonna hurt later so okay all yeah. right we can stop here then let's let's just make sure we get what we have set up so that'd be good but yeah. puts me puts me at ease and still stress because my boss is just so nonchalant about everything because he's got you. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me about Let's it. Let's do a rewind from Trevor. We need to go get money for these guys. Come with me. I'm scared. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's just like, it's like, I'm like, okay, man, we got to really prep this out. I've got 24 hour turns on a couple of the properties. So, like, there's two separate properties that on a single day, you know, 50 properties or 50 units on this property and 40 units on this property, I have to turn in 24 hours. So it's going to be an all night type of thing. And that in itself is going to be enough where I'm going to be burnt because we, we stop those two 24 hour turns and then we immediately have to hop into the other properties that aren't 24 hour turns. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, the, the, I'm going to be burnt at the very, very start versus yeah. being burnt at the very end. Like I normally am just completely gassed right off the. Yeah. Rip. And so I'm like, okay, let's plan this out. Let's get this worked out. Let's figure it out. My boss is just like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever. You just yeah. let me know. Oh, you such a. Do you, yeah, you want to sure. help? Do you want to meet me in the middle somewhere? I mean, there's a. I and I'm. I'm coming. Man, I'll oh, even come seventy. You take forty. <laughs> yeah, I'll, take, I'll come seventy five, man. Hell, I'll come to you. Let's. Will you just show up? I'll give you a nap break in between. Yeah, yeah. We've got two months. Just be there yeah. to help. So, he's uh he's you know he's really supportive and he's happy about it, but he's also like, well. I'll only really give a shit when I when we lock in those contracts. Like today, we just did work. Like they're locked in, man. We are here. Yeah. Like this isn't this isn't something we're just gonna dabble in every now and again. like we're doing it. You know. You know, I'll care when they give me the final check. <laughs> yeah, swear to God. So, but and then it's just prepping for the summer. Like I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But it's it was nice today. God, today was such a beautiful day. Yeah, it was such it's, a beautiful day. It's supposed to get a little cooler too. I will. I'll take it. If, if it just stayed this forever, it would just be. Oh God, I cannot describe to you how nice it was to go outside. Like I had lunch, and then I walked around. You know what I mean? I don't fucking go outside. I no. can't stand the outdoors. I walked around today and I was like, oh my God, it's beautiful. Wind was blowing. It wasn't too hot. I had the windows down, blasting 80s music. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's what did yeah, it. That's right. Fuck no, the weather. Yeah. <laughs> Might be what did Duran it. Duran Duran conquers oh, all. I started with George Michael, Careless Whisper, and then that playlist just evolved into something else. And I was, I oh. just could not stop. And I was just jamming. I was top of my lungs, man. I was dead stopped in traffic. First time in my life, it took. Me, I sent that picture to the group chat. Hour to get home. Hour, like I was already on the road, so it was like an hour and ten minutes to get to my house. Dead stop, sitting in traffic, windows down, just screaming at the top of my lungs. Eighties ballads. <laughs> Couldn't care. It was the best best place of my life. Me, my playlist. I'm, I'm back on Bruno Mars. Okay, and I'm about to be back in Enrique. I can feel the Enrique bubbling mm. up. 
that's when all of a sudden, like all my ads turned to Spanish because I just listened to so much Enrique Iglesias. Yeah. But right now I am stuck securely on Uptown Funk. Yeah. On repeat. Yeah. I'm planning our music video. That oh god. That that turn in Bruno Mars was like that whole album he did with the fucking best. Oh man, that was so, so good. Such a good album. It was like Uptown Bruno Funk Mars came out. He's all, I would catch a grenade. I could not you. stand. He's like kind of like love ballads. Like who the fuck? Like he's got a good voice, but man, I could give a fuck about yep. his music. Yep. And then that boy moved to Vegas, got a solid cocaine plug, and yep. was just the fucking yeah. man. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, I. I oh. <laughs> His mug shot just yeah, yeah. Poke all over his face. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. That was that was when I got like I was like okay I'll listen to Bruno Mars I'll listen to it and I I did that and uh, what's the other one um, twenty four carat twenty four carat perm <sighs> God Oof. those just sh- those shoes and those shorts he had in that music video I was yeah. like bro I would rock the hell out of yeah. that you also need to be five foot nothing and one hundred and ten pounds but. But he fucking oh, dude. kills it. I looked for those shoes for like a month. A <laughs> month solid. I was like, bro, I can Some get the white Versace oh. loafers. <laughs> I was like, I would kick those around all day long. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Cause I well, I mean, I I I swapped over to 80s ballads recently, but I I had gotten because that song was stuck in your, in your head and you put it in my fucking <laughs> head. And then we're just sitting there playing gray zone. <laughs> All fucking day, just singing the same fucking like not even the full song, <laughs> just fucking four seconds right there. Oh, <laughs> how does it feel? Boom, 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 boom. To treat me like you do. <laughs> A um, random guy with us on the helicopter. <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> just turns off boip. <laughs> oh man! But before that, I was I was listening to heavy metal again, and like like not like. The lighter heavy metal stuff, like, like yeah, I'm talking about Creed. like mm, more, yeah, sure, you know, more like our like Stained. the mm, like job for a cowboy. Okay, you know, a little bit more heavier stuff. Double Rush Prada, yeah. well, different Mastodon, was, yeah, yeah, Mastodon. <laughs> Coed, oh, not Coed in Cambria. Uh, was it Children of Bodom? You ever listen to yeah. Children Bodum? Oh man, that's that's like classic good stuff. But uh, yeah, I just got done. Like I was like smiling in traffic, listening to like metal music, and like I was like, oh god, I must look like a psychopath. See, I'm good for one. Really? Just just one. Like every month, maybe. Mm-hmm. Just one. Just like I need something fucking heavy. And I and I and I'm even lucky if I make it all the way. It's really just like one guitar rift buried within there. But I like the build up to get to it. And then once the guitar rift is over, I'm like, Ugh. if you hear, smoke a cigarette, oh, and then I'm good. If you hear like a, a it's, it's like a it's like a guy that goes to like fucking Thailand. He's like, oh, you know, I'm just I'm just here to like fucking see the sights. But like really, he's there to like bang a lady boy. Yeah, like that's that's my lady boy. Like I I'm not a frequent traveler, but like I go there, I get it done, and then I just don't talk about it for a while, and I go back to my boy bands. And See, I don't know why that's the one that I closet is heavy metal, but boy bands I'm so out in the open about. But here we are. See, that's that's the thing, man. If I find like a nasty ass like band that's got like just heavy breakdowns and riffs, and it's like I will get stuck. It takes me to like a dark place. Well, it's a it's a light place for me, but it could be a dark place, and I just like I get stuck, and I just hear a breakdown happen, and I'm just jamming. <laughs> the other day, I was we were driving back to to Davis, um, and oh, I put on System of a Down. To- you got a fart? Oh, toxicity. No, I just I got back from work, mm-hmm. and we got these like ramen packs. Mm-hmm. But like the Robin pack was like this big. I was like, what the fuck? So we made like five of them and split it. And those fucking, I feel the noodles just expanding in my stomach. Oh, like yeah. they're not normal ramen. They're, they're fucking me yeah. up. Yeah. Side note. Toxicity is that, that supersedes everything. I can oh listen to that back, back to front. <laughs> that album, that album and, is and so a couple, good. A couple songs from Disturbed, but like that entire album of just toxicity Ugh. I put it. I put it on play. This is how you know I've got autism for music. 
I listening to an album, I know as a song is ending what the next song is going to be on the album yeah. before it starts. And I'm already saying the lyrics of the first line before it even starts to play. You know what I mean? That's how oh, good oh. albums like that are. Albums used to be like that. Yes. You could remember when like ludicrous albums would have like a, like they would carry through, like, like they almost had like a theme to the entire mm-hmm. thing. Like it told a story mm-hmm. as you listen to it. Nowadays, it's just fucking like two minutes of fucking bullshit far followed by two more minutes of bullshit i loved i loved old school music that used to do like uh, 80s did it a lot 90s did it for sure and then it kind of fell off where songs would continue and they would just fade out naturally you know you yeah. hear them like still like doing the the chorus or whatever like through the end of the song and it would just naturally fade and then the next song would pick up and start and it was like it's almost even the same note yeah you know? and it was just like oh my god rush did that a lot with their albums i remember just yeah. listening. oh god it was just so good back in our day yeah, music was better Music was a thousand. You know why? I I still believe this to this day. I think it, music was better back in our day because it wasn't digitized. There wasn't so much going on. Do you ever see that interview with uh, well, it David? It definitely couldn't be faked as easily either. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Do you ever see that interview with uh, David Greta or whatever the fuck his name is? Oh, I fucking hate that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, he was talking to somebody, and he was talking about the first time he met Daft Punk. And he was like, he, he was like, he, they, they invited him back to the studio or whatever. And he was like, okay, cool. And he went back and he, and he, all they had was like the mics, like a mixer, a compressor and like something else. And he was like, where's the studio? And they're like, this is the studio. And he's like, bullshit. He's like, did you guys make discovery on this? And they're like, yeah. And he's like, I went back to my, my apartment. He's like, and for like a week, I was like, I'm fucking trash. I'm trash. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> and then he's just like, <clears throat> they're just pure, pure talent. That's all they were. It's just pure yeah. talent. And that's, what I think what, like, that's what m- is missed in music nowadays is like that raw talent. It's like, well, I sing like shit. So I'll use an auto tune or like, Oh, the chords sound kind of shit because I'm not great. Well, we'll just, we'll just fluff it in editing. You know what I mean? Oh, and so many people don't even like know how to play like s- instruments anymore because it's all just like, just pull it up. Pick your pick your pitch. Yep. Make your perfect tempo. Line everything up. What song was I listening to today? Or everything's a drum machine. You know, by da- Instant Crush. By who? By Daft Punk. Okay. It's just like I think Daft Punk is such a great example of Daft Punk. Even um, brain fart. Welcome to like the Black Parade. Mm-hmm. Like 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 songs like that where like if you close your eyes and you hone in, you can hone in on like a specific like instrument that plays throughout it, like front to back, like 138 different fucking times, just because there's so many like layers to it, but they all like complement each other so well and so perfectly. It's just it, it blows my mind, you know. You focus on like the chorus your first time listening to it, or maybe it's just like the like the like the undertones of the beat, but then there's just like a horn or something. That just like kind of carries throughout. Man, I, oh, I love it. I will tell you it's the thing about Daft Punk for me. I mean, I've always I've always loved Daft Punk. I've always listened to Daft Punk. I mean, when I first found them in like, I don't know, I think it was right after their first like live show in like 80 or 98. Um you showed me Daft Punk. Yeah, dude. And I was just like, I cannot get enough of this. To me, they were just the fucking helmet guys that did Tron? Yeah, no, man. They were just—it's so good. And to this day, and I tell me Tron wasn't fucking better because of Daft Punk. I think the only reason Tron was good at all was because of Daft Punk. They did the whole oh, that soundtrack was so fucking. Good. I can listen to the soundtrack once or twice, but I can listen to like Daft Punk's Alive, like the live concert that they did. A th- I can listen to that on repeat a thousand times. Hear me out. Okay, I'm hearing you, and I'm going to show you why you're wrong. Whatever fucking movie you want, Hans Zimmer, Daft Punk. Maybe. And am I wrong? I the next Indiana Jones. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah. All CGI I, Harrison Ford. I feel like I feel like Daft Punk did good for Tron, but like when I go back and re-listen to that album, it just it's not Daft Punk. It sounds like a Disney movie. 
You know what I mean? Like it doesn't hit the same. Yeah. Like a live, the live version of Daft Punk's like concert is so fucking brilliant. They take two songs and they play them at the same time. And they just cut it perfectly for the live show. And they just like human, robot, human. And then so they play human after all and robot rock at the same time and just mash it together. And it's just brilliant, dude. It's just such, it is such a good live album. I will, okay. I would fight anyone over that. It's, it, I, I go to sleep listening to that album. All right. New idea. Okay. I'm listening. My bachelor party. Okay. You're having one. Now I am. <laughs> we're going to Costco. Okay. We're getting the Quest 2s. Okay. We're bu we're buying, hopefully they have like a, a Daft Punk live in concert that we can oh just put on in VR. God. And we're just doing drugs. Just, just me, you, we're locking the house. <laughs> Audrey could be in the fucking backyard. <laughs> I would. In fucking space. I would not say no to that at all. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I had I had tickets to go see that show. Ooh. I didn't get he to go. Didn't. I didn't get to go. Uh, was it because of Audrey? I just take her out back and fucking shoot her. <laughs> there would be no marriage if that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> I uh no, I I just I missed it because of legal reasons. Thanks, Trevor. Past Trevor really fucking put that one together. Yeah, thanks, Will. <laughs> what did he say the other day? To, oh, was that today or yesterday? Uh, I don't know. It's been. If a you're floor. not importanta, no. What was oh, it? <laughs> if she ate a torta, to me no importa. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's just soaking in oh, fucking my Texas God. culture. I'm so glad you sent us on our way out. <laughs> yeah, the boy needs help. He's off the end of the month. You're all, all right. Well, it's a week away. What? <laughs> yeah, like, There's plenty of time, brother. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Will's just analog in Texas. No internet. The only thing he has is the real world. That's exactly scary. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure if he didn't have a phone, we probably would never be able to find him again. Ever. Ever. No, he, yeah, he, gone. He'd already somehow be in Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> Easily. It's like black bag. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> I'm not done with my drink. Put me back. <laughs> you tried to get a gum job for my abuelita. <laughs> <laughs> he said something in Spanish the other day. He's like, damn it, dude. I've been here a month. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that was yesterday. Oh, it was like yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Wait, because he said that. He said something. I don't know. He's been fucking. He's been on one. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's a trip that we should do. A Texas trip. Oh, Texas. The closer oh, we get I, to Mexico, though, the scarier it's gonna be. Because I'm, you're gonna have to keep me away from the border. Because there's a chance I'd run. Because there's so many tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my phone. My I'll be phone back in a fucked. week. <laughs> You're gonna have to have a, a fucking have like a breathalyzer strapped to your fucking chest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take coyote money to get me back to the, <laughs> the states. <laughs> yeah, but then the coyote, if you could just confirm your Google identity, <laughs> motherfucker, all comes a full circle. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I've been I've been looking for. Um, well, not looking. But I've been thinking about trying to find a travel job out there in that area. Well, I just mean like even if we just do, we don't do anything, I don't. This is the problem with me. I'm becoming this like weird. I'm an extrovert. I love being out. I love being with my friends. I love doing shit. I'm also getting old to the point where I'm like, I don't want to go anywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I want to do things as long as there's not people there. Okay. But if we go to Texas, though. Right, but I mean, if we're gonna, we gotta, we gotta go like hit up like a kill Tony or something like that. Sure, yeah, yeah. But I mean, if we're we gonna, gotta, we gotta. The problem is, like, I'm also like, if we wanted to go to Texas, I kind of just want to go straight to like Tennessee, like go to Nashville or something. Nashville's fun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nashville's disgusting, though. I, we, it's 
you've been huge. I know, I know, I know, I know. But you gotta pick the time. I changed my shirt three times. That's, we went in fucking October. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst time. It's coming out what? of heat, and then you get the winter months and all that. So it's like the uh, most humid. Oh, my Mark Finan, chief meteorologist. I don't fucking know this shit. <laughs> but that that would be see that would be dope. Or I, I we had talked about it before. I want to go out to like New York and go visit Pad. Mm, I've never you know been. I, you know, I've never been to New York. Never been to New York. You know, I never want to go. Where? New York. Why? I don't know. I just fuck it. I feel like it's just gross. I mean, it's the same reason like, I don't go to the city. Like, I don't want to go to San Francisco. Yeah, I don't go to San Francisco. It's reason. gross. Yeah. Now, if Pad wants to meet us in Buffalo and we can go hang out with the fucking Bills Mafia and jump through fucking tables. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can I can totally so down for see that. Pad wanting to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I was hoping you guys would ask me to do. <laughs> Fashion week was last year, last week, but <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's where we're going. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, I, I, I want to go to a few <laughs> places I've never been. Like, I haven't been a lot of north places, like, because they suck. Well, not all of them suck. Like, okay, I'm not going to the Dakotas, right? Like, you're not going up there. It's like all Indian. I go to Dakota. North Dakota is like all Indian reservation, though. I want to. I want to see meth fucking, and fucking skinwalkers. I want to see uh, Mount Rushmore. I would like to see Mount Rushmore. That would be but dope. Like, that's all I want to do, though. I yeah. want, I, if, if we could like have a layover there where we could make it there. It's and so then get stupid. The fuck out. It's so stupid. I want to go see Niagara Falls. I'd be down with that. You know what I mean? Like not now. You got me. That's not like and a, then, oh, it's a new bachelor party idea. <laughs> me and you, Niagara Falls. Then we drugs. get a cabin in Vermont together. <laughs> we we watch Daft Punk at Niagara Falls while doing drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just the mist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, this is this is old people shit though. When you start like, like let's get an RV and go see the Grand we can Canyon. See if they have a, a spoon we could add to our collection. <laughs> fucking commemorative spoons, <laughs> plates. Fuck it. It was a plate <clears throat> oh, with God. gold trim. That's what we should do. We should just go to estate sales. I get some spoons. See. <laughs> I, only if they have the commemorative spoons. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for. I, hi, how are you? Oh, your aunt Nana died. I'm so sorry. Did she have one of those books that had all the different quarters yeah, the from all the years in it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, back in the sick. '90s when McDonald's had those Disney glasses, she got any of those? I would fucking get in a fist fight for those fucking <laughs> Disney glasses. That's not a joke to me. Or the Flintstone mugs. Oh yeah, dude, Flintstone mugs. Lion King plates, dude. Hercules, or Hercules plate. McDonald's that I, used to go so fucking hard. Man, my dad had all of that. Stuff. We had it so much better back <laughs> in our day. I keep thinking about it. my dad moved to Hawaii, and I know he's he has to have a lot of stuff. But like my dad was like, we didn't really grow up with any money. But my dad always he was like, this stuff is gonna be big one day, and like he was right. He just but where was, is it? He was <laughs> right. He was right a long time ago when it didn't matter, and now when it matters, like sealed copies of VHSs are going for like a grip, oh, if not yeah. more. And it's like I have boxes. I've got boxes. I have a. Bo I know somewhere, somewhere there's a sealed copy of a the uh, the original Godfather two Ooh. that was floating around my dad's house. I know for a fact because I had seen it. I was like, why didn't you open this? He's like, oh, we have another copy over here. And it was always, the VHS was always at the back of that, we talked about it, those big ass cabinets. Yeah. It was in the back there, and I remember I never opened it because we always had the sec another copy of the movie. So we just stacked all three of them at the front or whatever. But I know that. And so I'm like, man, there was, my dad was so right. The stuff would be worth something. You know what I mean? When you couldn't get it anymore, when it all changed. I still have a box of records, but vinyl's all coming back, so it's not like it's worth anything anymore. VHSs are never coming if back. They're like originals though. Yeah, they all are originals. They're, well, yeah. So there's like there's reprints and stuff, but they're gonna be like like box. Uh, it's gonna be I've, like like collecting fucking like first edition books. You know? I've got I've got boxes and boxes of records from the 70s, 60s, 70s that are just like the original print of those vinyls still in like this sleeve paper. That's like kind of falling apart. Cause it yeah. looks like people have just been smoking next to it. Like it's all there. I have all that. And it's like, that's dope. 
but like all the v- stuff that you, is never like tapes, VHSs. You know what I mean? Actual physical CDs. Like that stuff is not. They're not going to print it because it's not worth the the amount of money. It's not to, worth the money. Yeah. Anymore. Like just it's thinking. It's not of, cost effective. Yeah, just thinking of VHSs in general. Like that's. I got a fuckload of them. I know. I wish I. I they're wish, all from Montana because that's the only thing that we have up there is a VHS player. Yeah. God. God, man. There's something, and then buying a it's, it's not the same as like vinyl, where you're like, like it just it adds more. Ca- it, yeah, it almost does. does. No, until you, get like, until you get like a weird skip, and you're like, oh fucking piece of shit. Like, or, you get all that, pissed off. At do you it. remember when tracking? Yeah, the track. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. The tracking. <laughs> Punch the TV. You're hitting the side of the tube, thinking it's gonna fucking fix it. Oh man. Oh. And I went to so because me and Sean had shot that uh that stupid. Two guys that, in a bomb. Oh, <laughs> when you had that VHS player that was ripped apart, so you could try to fix it to play it. I have a VHS player; it was broken. There's nothing I could do about it. I went, was like, I'm just gonna buy another VHS player. Those suckers are like like two hundred bucks. No, they're more than that. Finding a VHS player because they don't make them anymore, so it's only on resale. They're like four hundred dollars. It is an outrageous amount of money to find a VHS player, and all I really want to do is take that movie. And turn it digital. Like I just want to take so, like a VHS and turn it into a digital copy of it. I just don't know. I, there has to be a process for that. Because that movie, yeah. that movie is a gem. That is Ooh. a gem. I mean, it is an there, absolute disaster. I I know a guy. He was on Wheel of Fortune. Darren's brother. He was on Wheel of Fortune in like two thousand four or something like that. And he, all he did was talk about it for so long that we're like, he's like, I know somebody has a VHS of it. And like his aunt that was like, like cut out from their family. He's like, I really don't want a Facebook her, but I'll do it for this. And he asked her and she had it and she sent it to him and he sent it to a company and they put it on DVDs for him. Oh, sick. See, and not even DVDs. I want to take it from DVD and just make it. I don't have a DVD player anywhere well i guess maybe the ps4 works well we could get it on dvd and then convert it yeah. or something like that yeah, we'll find a way just a process at least if it's if it's within 20 years of yeah. the technology yeah. we're working with yeah exactly <laughs> good point it comes on an mp3 player <laughs> uh yeah just a fucking zune <laughs> that dude the fuck is this a relic from another time we found it this holds 256 megabytes <gasps> Do you I remember I remember the first time I upgraded my hard drive when I bought my first gigabyte hard drive and I was like this is a gig weird. was huge I was like this is wild what am I going to do I'm never going to need I was like room. what am I going to do with a gig doom was 300 megabytes you know what I mean it was like yeah. what am I going to do with a gig you know 7000 copies of Oregon Trail you peasants oh my god and then I remember, I remember the first time the 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 flash drives were a gig. I think the first time a flash drive was a gig was when I was in college, almost maybe a little before. Oh that. yeah, it's, you it's know, it was be well after we graduated. Yeah, but it was just like it was such a wild concept to me. It was like, oh my god, man, they're, they're expensive. Been, you can get a micro SD card that's a terabyte now, or two terabytes. A micro SD card that's like two terabytes. We've gone too far. We're playing God at this point. Okay. Here's what here's what's gonna really blow your mind. Okay. I did a pacemaker today. Uh-huh. This pacemaker is no joke. Maybe just that. What? It's just one ventricle. The battery lasts 17 years. What? It's it's Bluetooth and it actively monitors and paces your heart. That's how Whoa. insane technology is. Remember how big Travis's was? Yeah. It was yeah. Oh, no. I, I, scan, I scan those all the time. They're so common. This is like brand new for this year. It's the first one I've ever even seen. Whoa. And I was like, I was talking to the Pacer tech. I was like, is, is there anything special you do? She's like, no, it's the easiest one to scan. I was like, no shit. So, but like, because like, it, it seems impossible. You miss it on like fucking chest x-rays and stuff. Yeah. Like I, I sat there. I was like, there's something there. Like, it's just 
bizarre. It doesn't make any fucking sense by any means that something that's this big can reside within your heart wall that actively tracks, connects to different, like it connects to your cell phone to turn into MRI mode and shit like that. Like, I mean, it's okay. I honestly, wild. it is wild, but that like that doesn't blow my mind in the same way that I think it should blow my mind because I think of like the seventeen or, years this battery will keep your heart alive. The the original computer was an entire building, right? Yeah. And now your this this here has like something like a thousand times the computing power that the original computer that took up an entire building. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think it's still the battery for me. Why do I have to charge my phone every day? That that <laughs> is a great the question. The battery is the biggest one for me. It's like this will outlive the patient it was placed in. Well, it's because you doom scroll on your phone for nine hours of the day. Touche. You know what I mean? Nine it's hours. Ten? Nine hours. <laughs> ten hours. <laughs> if I if I plug it, charge my phone, and then left it alone. I literally go to bed with an 80% charge. As of currently, I have 16% on my phone. <laughs> there's no way I can actively test this because there's no way you're keeping me off my f fucking phone looking through TikTok for a song that I heard once on a reel that was popular. And now I'm just trying to remember what the song name the, is and it will never pop up again. The worst thing for me, this is the most infuriating thing about shorts and some like I, the reason why I started going to Instagram is because at least I can save them. Yes. I don't know if you can do that on TikTok. You definitely cannot do if that you on you like them, you can. Okay, you cannot do that on on shorts on YouTube. What I don't do you doing YouTube. I know. I don't know why, but it's it sucks. Um but Instagram saving that is the only way because so many times I'll have like clicked it and be like, oh that's dope, and then clicked out to like open up the music thing or whatever, and then gone back and it's reset and it's gone and it's like, oh, that's the most the fucking worst. It's the most infuriating thing in the world. And then and then I can't ever find it again. It's like there's a popular yeah. song on TikTok. I haven't heard it once. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Social media is a crux of the human it's race cancer it is it's worse than mcdonald's eh. really a guy who made a documentary really? about 20 years ago that might beg to differ it was to like enlighten people on the uh the terrible nature of fast food we had children eating tide pods at one point <laughs> touche <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> never mind you're absolutely right <laughs> Oh, oh man, and, and that you know that whole thing all spawned because of what was it the ALS challenge, dumping like a bucket of ice water on you because it was supposed to raise awareness or whatever, and then just people took it as like a challenge. Then it turned into like the cinnamon challenge. The greatest ALS challenge was Fifty Cent's. Never saw it. Oh, God. Fifty Cent is the gift that keeps on giving. I, I just recently started following him because he hates P. Diddy. And ever since this shit kicked off, I mean, he's just fucking nonstop. Just dropping <laughs> banger after banger. This motherfucker has all the time in the world. Says he sold vitamin water and he's showing it. But when um, the ALS challenge was going on, he was talking shit to Floyd Mayweather back and forth. Uh -huh. And everybody's like, he's all, I got this bucket of water, but fuck that. If you could read one page out of a Harry <laughs> Potter book, right. I'll donate a billion yeah, dollars city right. chair. You fucking that's right. Like, I do remember that. I do remember that. What you know, said is like, take apart like how business savvy, how like good of a rapper he was. He's just the funniest fucking guy in the world. Yeah. He's come. He's come a long way too. Oh my god! I, there, he was in a skit with him in in uh, Eminem at one point, and uh, Eminem said something. He had that, his own skit channel. That's maybe that's what it was, but they were like doctors or something. It was like <laughs> it was like oh, you can't. Uh, it, you only got one shot, one opportunity. He's like trying to inject someone, and like Fifty Cent walks up behind. He's like, I took two. I took six shots, and then like yep. walks off. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, dude, why you gotta be like that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, man! I just realized we're an hour into this, haven't spoken about a single video game. I was just trying to think. I'm actually of a single video game. I, that's okay. I don't care about video games anymore. I've given up. I've started reading books. I don't watch movies. I watched the uh, the uh, 
What was it? Dune two's out. I should watch, watch it three it. times in one day. Really? That's yeah. an entire day. It's like a three yeah. and a half hour movie, isn't it? Uh, Dune two is, yeah, about that. It's like two hours forty five minutes. Man, just that one fucking scene when they're. It's like the the planet with the black sun. I just can't get over how good, like the. I don't even know if the story is actually good. It might just be that it was shot so well yeah. that it's amazing. Yeah. Like it's just, that's what kind of movie it is. You know, uh, so I watched uh, the imitation uh, game again, just recently before we shot the podcast. Um, it's the one with uh, uh, Benedict Campbell. Um, it's about him playing Alan Tuning. Like for oh, the, the German yeah. Enigma machine and all that. I just watched that movie. Man, I forgot how good that movie is, you know? And then I started thinking about it. I was like, man, I, I haven't seen Oppenheimer. And I feel like I, I should either. I feel like I should just sit down and watch Oppenheimer. Sally Murphy is like like one of my favorite actors. Yeah. He's a solid, solid player. I just feel like that movie in general would be a just a banger to watch. I feel like I I feel like I should have seen it in theaters, like in IMAX. I think that's what everybody said. You know, it's one of those ones where I was like, I probably should, but I didn't. I just don't I think know. I opted for fucking like Godzilla or something like that. I haven't seen any of the. I saw the first Godzilla. Hey, both are fucking up Japan, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! There goes Tokyo! Go, go, Godzilla! <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Did what? if you get a chance? Uh huh. Tires on Netflix with Shane Gillis. Okay, is it good? It's it's fucking great. Is it's, it? It's like our stupid kind of humor. Okay, and it's just like back to back. It's like The Office if The Office was written by Shane Gillis, set in a tire shop where fuck was used every other word. Okay. With just blatant racism, I saw, like, I, it's, it's I, I saw a couple funny. clips of it, and I was like, "This seems kind of funny." They don't do it justice. No, <laughs> the, the clips, the clips are the lightest. <laughs> Excuse me. It's all I can speak Chinese. I think. All right, give me it. Oh no, Godzilla! <laughs> like, it was a terrible Godzilla impression. He's like, "Don't, don't, don't you dare go out there." <laughs> I uh. I started rewatching Eastbound and Down. Oh yeah, yeah. it's, it's kind of okay. It's kind of like similar humor. Okay, okay. God, Eastbound is so good. Eastbound is so funny. <laughs> Such a good show. <laughs> Fucking oh, it's one of those ones like you don't think it's gonna get like because usually it's like first season kills and yeah. it kind of goes down. Man, he goes to the Mexican League and the, the series just takes the fuck off. <laughs> when they're sitting there, the, the guy, they're like, ah, we're gonna lose. The, the one dude's looking back at, what's his name? The, the short little guy, he's like, he's like, what? what? He's like, pour the beer on He's like, you want you got a problem? He's like, man, we're getting kicked the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> there, there was a show, I don't know if you ever watched it, it was, uh, My Name is Earl. Yeah, I remember my name is Earl just being hysterical. Is he? That was a solid one. That was a solid one. He wins the lotto or whatever, and he has to go back and apologize for being a shit to all yeah. the people. Karma. Like, yeah, yeah. God, that was a really good show. I, I think I just started watching that because of Jamie Lynn Presley. Oh yeah, and then it just happened to be a good show. Yeah, but like, not another team movie came out, and I was like, I would chop my dick off and mail it to her in the hopes that she just accidentally touches it God. and then like i just like fell into like her show that ended up being way better with jason lee yeah jason lee is a phenomenal phenomenal yeah. funny guy the fucking mall rats yeah it's wild because like during the 90s i used to watch jason lee skate i know it's you weird. know what i mean it's like what you were a skater for like, zero right yeah yeah, yeah. dude it was like <laughs> what you're an actor now <laughs> you're that fucking handlebar mustache of the show oh man well this has been our weekly yap update of baloney baloney brad yeah I'm glad that you can tune in to this week's gaming and video game news podcast. I'm actually, I I like the idea that, uh, I, you know what we should do? 
We should just do segments of gaming, but make them as fast as possible. Like, you hear about the new game? I did. All right. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> new update? <laughs> Fucking sucks. Yeah. Next. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing in gaming right now. I'm going to go play Valheim. What happened to Metalcore? What happened to Metalcore? Hold on. The genre of music Metalcore? No, I'm, I'm, I'm looking so bad right now. For um, Myth Force. Myth Force is a lot of fun. Myth Force! It is. It's it's just a stupid. It's like Risk of Rain or. Uh, oh, it's that one that you're like, yo, they definitely took Risk of Rain. Yeah, well, no, it's a little bit different than that. Um, me, Aaron, and Sean played it, and then we got Cliff in on it. Uh, it's it's weird. It's it's very much so. A All right, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>